We've spent uh, several weeks leading up to tax day with Luis Garcia from the Internal Revenue Service offering up some uh, good information. We'll spend two mornings this week with him. First one is right now. Good morning, Luis. Good morning. Boy, uh, some people might be saying, I'm not going to make it. <laughs> the deadline is coming. <laughs> well, it, it, it's, it's, you know, like the train, you know, I think I can, I think I can. Um, I, I, I think you can. If you if you realize how, um, if you've used it before, then, then you're, you're a little bit more confident. But uh, for those who are unfamiliar with using the tax preparation software um, it, it, and using the tax professionals out there who are very good at, at you know, crunching at the last minute. But um, if you really, really can't do it, if you really just don't have it together, um, you can always file an extension. Hmm. And it, it, it's an automatic extension, uh, meaning... It, you automatically get it. You don't have to give us an excuse, you know, uh-huh. dog eat your homework sort of thing. <laughs> you, ju- you just automatically get it, but it doesn't automatically kick in. You have to request it. Okay. So easiest thing to do is go to irs.gov, uh, click on free file, and you can file this extension for free online. It's form 4868. Um, you can use the uh, free billable forms and send it directly to us, or if you want, just print it out. Uh, or mail it to us, regular mail, and that'll give you, an, uh, make sure that it's, it's postmarked by the 18th, uh, this Monday's the, the, the filing deadline. Right. Um, so make sure that it's postmarked by the 18th, but you automatically get six months, and that way you can put everything together. But the kicker is, you know, you're probably doing this because you don't have your stuff together, but... Uh, you're you're getting a refund, and and, and that's the, the majority uh, of people who are who ask for an extension. It's not that they 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 can't pay or that they they uh, are worried about putting this information together because they uh, they owe. It's just that they don't have their their information organized. So if you and do owe, likely, yeah, if you do owe, then that doesn't affect that. Well, if you owe, you owe. So if you owe you back, you have to pay up by, by the 18th. And the the, um, the thing to remember, it's, it's, remember if you owe and don't pay, um, your the amount of interest and penalties can be up to 25%. Uh, so if you, if you file a tax return and you don't pay, then it can be up to 5%. So it's really a lot more... Um, it's very much in your interest to file that return and not pay. And, and there's all kinds of payment plans that we have. That, that's, that's that's the one of the other things a lot of people are unfamiliar with is yeah. uh, everything from just automatically saying, "Hey, I can't pay this off." Can I? And, and sending us the uh, a form saying, "You know, it, it'll take me 12 months. Here's my first payment." To uh, what we call offering compromise. A lot of people are unfamiliar. They can do this on their own. Sometimes you see these late night uh, commercials that say, "Hey, we can get you pennies on the dollar." Uh-huh. You don't have to pay anybody to do that. You can, uh, and a lot of them will only take you if you have a lot of, of debt with the IRS. This is something you can go on irs.gov, uh, look at offer in compromise, and we know that if you you have a big tax debt and you can't pay it, um, you're not probably not going to be able to pay it. So. We, uh, we worked out this plan where uh, we figure out how you can still live and, you know, have a home and, yeah. and pay your bills and still pay off your tax debt uh, within a reasonable amount of time. And if that means eliminating a big chunk of, of what you owe, um, so be it. But we'll look at your financials, we'll figure out what you can pay, what you can't pay, and then what you can't pay we'll get rid of. Um, but you've got to go through the process. And again, it's called Offering Compromise. It's right on our website. Um, you don't need any special skills to do this. You don't need uh, uh, to pay anybody to do it. But if you want to, that's fine, too. All right. It's Luis Garcia with the IRS. So that's uh, 4868 is the form if you just don't have your papers together and you're expecting a refund, but you're going to be late. If you have to pay and you can't, Follow those instructions uh, and look at irs.gov for those details. Thanks, Luis. And coming up on Friday, we'll talk one more time, mostly probably to say that uh, really the deadline is Monday, (laughs) even though Friday is the 15th. So we'll catch up with Luis again on Friday. Thank you.